Hello everyone and welcome to This is Europe, and here's Moldova. Now let's go, shall we? Sandwiched between Romania and Ukraine, the land that houses modern Moldova has seen quite a lot of history. It was firmly lodged in the Cucatane Trapillion culture for thousands of years, an apparently peaceful age, unsurprisingly grounded in agriculture, as the soil of Moldova is rich and fertile, good for farming. In the centuries that followed, the area saw the influx and rule of many, many different peoples, from the Scythians and Cimmerians to Sarmatians and Thracians. Now the language of modern Moldova, like that of Romania, descends from Latin, and this is due to the spread of the Roman Empire. Latin held fast in the region despite the troublesome years of invasions that never seemed to stop, from the Huns and Goths and Avars, to the Turkic Pechenegs and Cumans, to the Mongols, and then centuries of medieval Bulgarian rule in the south. In the mid-1300s, a nobleman on a hunting trip found himself at the Moldova River, and liked the look of the place, and brought his people over to settle there. The people were Vlachs, who give their name to Valachia, the southern bit of Romania. But we are concerned with the ones who settled here, in Moldova. The state they formed became known as the Principality of Moldavia, and it comprised most of modern Moldova, along with eastern Romania and bits of Ukraine. The greatest of Moldavia's rulers was Stephen the Great, hence the name, who strengthened his domains, built castles and churches, crushed a Hungarian invasion, defeated a Polish invasion, and took on the Ottomans in their prime. True to the historical pattern, Stephen was succeeded by rulers who were not on his level, and in 1538 Moldavia fell to the Ottoman Turks, though it still retained a lot of autonomy. The 1700s saw increased Russian penetration into the region, and in 1812 Russia conquered a big chunk of Moldavia, which they called Bessarabia, the area of which corresponds pretty closely to the modern Moldovan state. It was named after the Basarab dynasty of Wallachian leaders who had earlier ruled in the region. Russia was hostile to the land's language and culture, and promoted a policy of Russification, which didn't go over very well. Nationalism increased in the years before and during the First World War, and in 1917, as the Russian Empire fell to the communist Bolsheviks, Moldova prepared for independence, which was declared in 1918, and the Romanian army was invited in to force the Russians out. Moldova and Romania were thus joined together, but as the years drove by, Moldova fared little better under Romanian rule, and Russia, now Soviet, eagerly sought to regain it, which they did during World War II, and a miserable time was had by all. Early Soviet rule saw a period of famine, and over 200,000 people died. To make up for all the Moldovans who were dead, the Soviets imported immigrants from Russia and Ukraine, and some heavy industrialization occurred in the years that followed in this sliver of land here called Transnistria. In 1991 Moldova declared independence but the Transistria region where many Russians and Ukrainians lived had already decided to break away and do its own thing. It remains a disputed territory but the international community does not recognize it and considers it part of Moldova. Despite the victory of the separatists and Russian forces in the war of the early 1990s, Moldova struggled for many years but saw some incremental improvements and though it is one of the least affluent nations of Europe, Moldova has seen steady economic gains and attained a high level of human development and we wish it all the best as it faces the future. So that's it for Moldova and that's all from me for now. Bye bye!